the president claimed victory at an outdoor rally in Minnesota. The verdict is in and they say that we, we, all of us won big last night. The polls on the chaotic slugfest suggest Chris, otherwise, Chris, with a CNN poll giving I Biden the win. In the history of cable television, had the highest ratings of any show in the history of cable television. The ratings were impressive. 73 million tuned in, but it was far short of 2016's first debate at 84 million. It was sad, James. Speaking of Hillary Clinton, she told James Corden she had had some suggestions on how to stop the candidates talking over each other at the next debate. Well, maybe they'll, you know, have a kill switch on the mic. Maybe they'll have a, a button to push and the, the floor drops out. I don't know. One winner of debate night appears to be the far right Proud Boys that Trump was asked to condemn. Proud Boys, stand back and stand by. The Southern Poverty Law Center has labeled the Proud Boys a hate group, which they've denied. It's a group that holds anti-Muslim, anti-immigrant, and extremely misogynistic beliefs. And they align themselves very closely with the president. Get this, those tough guys actually took their name from a song from the Broadway musical Aladdin. They seem to have a truly bizarre initiation right, as seen in this YouTube video. New members are beaten while shouting out the names of breakfast cereals. Their uniform is this black polo shirt with gold stripes on the collar and sleeves. That polo shirt was designed by boutique company Fred Perry, and they want nothing to do with the Proud Boys. They've taken the shirt off of store shelves here in the U.S., and they say they won't sell it again until they're satisfied its association with the Proud Boys has ended. Allow me I can't give them an accurate you. information, Allow me and that's respond. why I'm asking you. White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany got into a heated debate with reporters today as they pressed her to denounce white supremacists. He has he not been raised. consistent on the issue he of white supremacy, so I'm asking you, what has this White House done? Why are you debunking? The president? I'm asking you a question. What, I don't even know what you're going to bring up, but that has nothing to do with what I'm asking you. One report called it Kaylee's Day from Hell. I'd like to ask you for a definitive and declarative statement without ambiguity or deflection. As the person who speaks for the president, does the president denounce white supremacism? Later, Roberts said he's taking heat from Fox viewers for the question. For all of you on Twitter who are hammering me for answering that quite for asking that question, I don't care because it's a question that needs to be asked. So stop deflecting, stop okay. blaming the media. I'm tired of it.